Hey there folks, welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas with myself, Nux V1. How you doing? I am glad that you have joined me for yet another episode as we wander through the divide. Uh, on the last episode, we launched some sort of intercontinental ballistic missile. And uh, now I'm not too sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I imagine I'm supposed to go in here. Um, but before I do, I'm going to explore the area a little bit. I seem to remember there being like, some sort of... Yes, this thing, industrial hand. So I want that, but obviously I haven't got... So let's do this. Um, hang on. I'm going to... Give all that. And where's the industrial hand I just picked up? Chainsaw. Ah, mm. oh, Edel can't carry anymore. Shit. Okay, well that's not good. Can we get down here? No, it doesn't look like it. No? Okay then. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's see what's strange and... Uh, okay. Well, this already looks exciting. And by exciting, I mean scary. I'm scared. Where's my rat away? There it is. And what weapons have we got drawn? Mm. Oh, well, apparently I've got no ammo for anything but sleepy time and my anti-material rifle. So I think it's time. Can we draw my gun, please? What is going on? Oh, the explosions are throwing me off. Okay. Edie's got it though, mate. Edie knows. Edie is the one. I, wish, I really wish this explosion wouldn't keep happening. Scissors? No doubt I'm going to need them for one of the... Uh... Is it exploding and breaking because I launched... Ooh! Yeah, because I really want to go down there, don't I? ED, what's your advice? Survive the elevator ride. Oh, shit. Who's this guy? Oh. Ooh! Yeah, no, I think, uh... I... <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Give me sleepy time. And, oh my god, a stim pack. Da, 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 don't come for me, thanks. How many stim packs? No, no, no. No, don't let him kill me like that. Come on. Hmm. Well, this is a bit desperate, isn't it? Uh, in your own time. Thank you. Survive the elevator ride. I don't know if I can. I can't get accurate enough with all these explosions going off. There you go. Ah, really? Nice work, Eads. Right. Can I check before I start the elevator journey? Oh, you know what? Hang on. Um, do I have any of those? No. No, I don't. Okay. Damage is 250. That's 236, so you'd assume. Sleepy time would do a better job. Uh, and I imagine the flare gun... Yeah, the flare gun scares them off. Uh, high penetration. Yeah, we'll go for high penetration rounds. I'm also going to take another stim pack. Uh, and some rad away. Yeah. And a sunset sarsaparilla for good measure. And then I'm also going to save it. 
Right, let's do this. Right, I'm literally just going to corner myself up. Right, that's one done. And I haven't got enough high uh, penetration rounds. Oh, this is actually kind of cool for uh, Fallout. Elevator level in Fallout, mate. That's 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 sick. Basically, is what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how they've done it. Oh, ED, help! <laughs> there you go, girl. Top robot. Top robot. Oh, there's another one. Did he just die or what? Oh. He's the venomous one. I want to try and avoid him. Cowering in the corner like a coward has worked. Jesus wept. This was uh, quite intense. Yeah, no, that's. Uh... What is this? Ballistic Defense Division. Uh, Commonwealth Defense Administration. Please stop exploding. Open door to Ashton Missile Silo. Please don't be like an entire area is just exploding and falling to bits. No? Excellent. Okay. Well, this area looks kind of cool. And there's a commiss commissary over in the... Mm, thanks. What is this? Yeah, I'll take it. Carton of cigarettes, some pre-war money, salesman weekly, and some bottle caps. Is this a commissary? Can I use this? Apparently not. Oh, that's a bit worrying. What about this? All this business. Oh, what's out there? Alright, let's grab this. Yeah, 12 rockets. And 70 10 mil rounds. Lead and pistol powder I will also take. I don't need any of that. I'll take that 50 uh, calibre uh, priming stuff though. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. You're a son of a bitch game. Right. Right, what's in here then? I was expecting more uh, sentry turrets and things like that. This looks oddly familiar. This looks like the area where we started the the DLC in. But I imagine okay, right, okay, let me just check the map quickly. Right, so we We entered over here, right? So Hopeville Silo Bunker Entrance. So we entered over in this area, so this is where the DLC started. And then I think we went underground at a point. In a building that looks very similar to this Ashton Silo control station. And that's what led us all the way over to Hope Hopeville Missile Silo Bunker. And I think that might be the same area that's the same as this one now. Except this one had a missile in it. And this one is just a wreck. So... I think, I think that's what I've got going on. Also, was there a location there I hadn't discovered? Path of the Courier's Mile. Was that there before? I feel like a bit of a dick now for, for for not going to that one because obviously I'm trying to get the uh, I've got, I've already got the uh, explorer perk, which should show me all locations. What is this? Coffee pot, iron clipboard. What is all this mess? Why is this all here? Oh, very hard locked cardboard box. Let's do it. Come on. There's some forceps. Got to take them. Got to take them. Or I'm going to have a monopoly on forceps by the end of this game. Mm. 
Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. So yeah, if I've missed the location, I'm quite irritated. <laughs> Just left it. I'll have to go back for that at some point. To be honest with you, I don't really know what I'm doing in this silo. Apart from the fact, I guess, I'm still heading towards meeting Ulysses. Ooh! Oh my god, that fucking well loud in my right ear then. Thanks, ED. That shit me right up. But why is she beeping, though? Is there, like, a death claw around here that I need to be aware of? Why do you do these things that you do, ED? No, we'll go for explosive rounds, thanks, if we're up against death claws. I wonder why she's scared beeped. What was that all about? Do oh. oh! Yes, mate. You got utterly shown. Utterly, utterly shown in the face with explosives. Alright. Nothing in there that I want. Nothing in there that I need. But a knife and tunnel of hide. Did I get three of them? Oh no, I just took one of their heads off. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this anti-material rifle is actually pretty OP for this area. I like it a lot. I would be using my Tommy gun if I still had ammo. Sunstone Tower? Oh god, this must be the way then. I wonder what that was for a second then. It's ED! The same robot that's been following you for the past, I don't know, two, three episodes? Make your way to the roof of the collapsed office building and reach the divide. Am I still not in the divide then? Oh my god. I thought this whole area was the divide. Uh, I need something like a shotgun, really. Um, but I don't have one, so let's go with sleepy time and hope that we find some ammo on the way. If I'd have, uh, if I'd have sniped him out with one of the higher grade sniper bullets, then I might have had a better chance of getting the sneak critical and uh, ending this life. I'm gonna switch back to the anti-material rifle. Sleepy time's good, but it is literally the only purpose of sleepy time is to have a fully silenced SMG that you can sneak into the casinos and stuff. I don't like how this is all, like I I understand why it's all wonky in that like the buildings all dilapidated and sort of off to one side. But uh it's quite disorientating if I do say so myself. Free war money I'll take. Nothing in that desk. There you go. Can't the cigarettes yet. Nothing in that one. Is there anything through here that we can get to? Nope, doesn't look like it. Anything in here? It's been a while since we've had an ED upgrade. Oh. Been a while since we had an ED upgrade, so I wonder if we get another one of them soon. Uh, I don't really want your revolver. Sorry, mate. I also hope that I can walk back through the uh, the area that I've just hit with a missile. I hope I haven't closed any areas off from myself to stop me from going back and collecting items because that's what's irritating me a little bit about the Sierra Madre is the fact that I can no longer go back there unless I cheat. Right, so let's see. There's probably a quicker way to do that. Oh! ED, 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 ED! Oh! 
I think I just hit Edie with that. Sorry, girl. There you go. She's back up again. Sneak attack critical on Edie. Whoops. Uh, yes. No. Super stim pack. Have I got any? Yeah, super stim pack. And then... It's been about a thousand years since I've had to repair my limbs. There you go. I think I've got a perk that means I don't take much damage. Uh, to my bones. Sorry about that, Ed. I didn't mean to blast you backwards. Alright, I'm glad you approve. There you go. That Hydra... And a magazine, I'll take. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. It doesn't look like there's anything in there. Oh! And I've already searched there. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This building is so light. You know when you go to the carnival and you've got one of them like stretched out bendy houses? It's like that. Quite disorientating. You know, with all the sort of like mirrors and that. Door, open door to the divide. Okay. Let's see what we're uh, in for here. Hopeville, High Road, Ashton, tiny cracks in the earth. Nothing compared to the road carved ahead. Before you. This is the edge of the divide. Ahead lies your work. The history you burned in the earth. What you brought to the people here. Uh, unless you're talking about that missile, I had nothing to do with this. And I'm pretty sure this place was looking wrecked before I dropped that bomb. So, I had nothing to do with this. You delivered a package. Had markings that matched those in the divide. Not all, but enough. Military markings from some place the bear had savaged in the west. Maybe seeing those markings on it reminded you of home, made you carry it. You said I brought it from the west? It was a device, a detonator, one I'd never seen before, or heard before. You carried that thing to the divide. I know because I followed you as you walked the road, watched you do it. You brought it here to the community you built, and you are responsible for what happened after when the device opened, started to speak. When it did, the divide answered back. Those missiles you've seen buried in their silos. They exploded beneath the ground, cracked the landscape, sand, ash, the dead. The divide skies became a graveyard. Uh. What? <laughs> what? Why would I have brought- why would I have done this is the question I'm looking for. Hey, I don't understand how a package could have done this. You will. I'll show the Mojave, bear and bull, the way of it. How couriers can break nations. What happened here can happen again. You already proved it. What you did in Ashton. The silo there. Uh, I didn't, yeah, I really didn't intend to set off that missile over the divide. Didn't stop you though. Like carrying the trip to Vegas. Old world death in your hand. Pieces of the old world like that just need someone careless enough to take them where they need to go. Oh. To do their killing. Yeah, I'm not to blame for any of this. You brought me here. I'm not to blame for Ashton the Chip or the Divide. All these roads that you walked, these packages that you carried, 
Think it wasn't your choice? Of course, it was your choice. You could have stayed in the Mojave, but you chose to come. Couldn't let be. Not in you to let go. Came for no other reason than you were curious, restless. Always have been. Had to know the why of it. Now, I'll show you. Right, so... <clears throat> he's basically saying that because I'm a courier and I deliver packages, that I am fully responsible for my actions. In response to this... I say that, well, at least I'm a courier and not some sort of raider that's selling people into slavery. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, there's much worse career choices you could make in the wasteland. So you're angry because I accidentally brought an explosive to the divide. Accident. Ignorance is a choice. The chip. A choice. As for anger, it is what I carry for the dead, and all that come here. If you're talking about the chip, you were the one who was supposed to originally take it anyway, and then when you was like, to said to Johnson Nash, oh, it let Courier 6 take it, I really did not have any choice, Ulysses, if this is what you're saying. Uh, the divide explosion. What? Did I kill your family, your wife, children? The dead. You mean any NCR troops who we were here? But there were more than just NCR troops, weren't there? There was Caesar's Legion and there was like the settlement. I'm going to go for the second one. My family. My tribe lives. Its history died long ago. Fell under the shadow of the bull. Consumed by another. Then Caesar symbol. should be your enemy. No. This isn't about family or any common blood. It's blood shared by acts, not by chance. Caesar should be your enemy. Unless you are, unless you are Legion, in which case, there. Yeah. Are you angry because I destroyed the divide supply line instead of you? If you're Legion, are you, he's not Legion though. I don't think. He he talks about the bull and the bear in such a way that you'd imagine he's not part of either faction. You wanted me to come to the divide. I'm here now. What? Your roads are not done. Haven't walked it full yet. Not nearly enough. The way ahead and below. Leads to the heart of the divide. And there, you and I, we'll have an ending to things. This canyon is miles long, maybe longer. Where can I find you? At the end of the divide, through the trenches and wreckage. That's where you'll find me. My new home, here, amongst dead men. You and that machine. Keep your eyes on the tower that cuts the horizon. You'll find your way. Made it this far. Not much farther to go. I think when I encounter Ulysses, there's going to be quite a large intelligence uh, thing because his perspective of this world is actually pretty warped. Fireworks display, Ulysses. Thanks, pal. Welcome to the divide. Yay! That was my party blower, in case you didn't realise. Uh. So what's all this business, then? Why was there just four random rockets fired up into the sky? Oh, okay, I see why. Why is my... Okay, I was going to say, why is the... Uh... The uh, sniper rifle is moving outside of the reticule, if that makes sense. Look at it bobbing about in that. And up. Okay, I'm going to stop that now. Right, I probably could detonate that thing behind him. But I'd prefer to have a bit of fun.
Oh, what? Could I not shoot through the, uh... Could I not shoot through the, uh, railing thing here, then? Fucking great. I'll go around it, then. I can't believe you get a perk for crippling yourself. Oh. Please don't freeze. The game almost froze and I freaked out. Oh. And I'm hidden again. Nice. Oh, and back to caution. Where are they? Oh! What just pushed me off there? Oh, thanks, Eads. The Divide. Okay. Oh, this looks a bit like, um... Ah, oh, um... The Pit, I think it was called, from... Fallout 3? With the sort of walkways going between doors and that kind of thing, and... Seriously, Edie, stop pushing me. I am not happy with this arrangement that we've got. What do you mean, excited beeping? Is there an Edie around here? Oh, no. There is a Ulysses log, though. That's basically what this log's going to be. The white legs, meant to show respect. and words. Showed them tech caches. Taught them the workings of chamber and powder. Spoke of Kaiser's pride in those that used such things. Lies. And... And then... They tried to honor me, not the Legion. They brought me before the campfire one night. Showed me how they changed themselves, how they wore their hair now. It was like my entire dead tribe in the firelight. Teeth grinning red in the dark. Eager corpses, blood-covered ghosts. They had taken my braids. The way of the twisted hairs. As if it showed they were like me. Of me. While every knot in their braids spoke of raping, violence, and ignorance of what the knots meant, they thought to show respect, defiled it, lost myself in trying to read the braids they wove. When I remembered, they had put no meaning in it. They had no history of what it meant. They didn't even know the insult and the twists, knots. And dry wells came rushing back. The white legs circled like that. It was like looking at the dead of my tribe, reborn as ghosts, hateful, hungry, bowing to Kaisar. Another history, gone, carried by me alone. Don't really know what to make of that. Uh, the thing with these audio logs is while they're going off, I'm too busy off exploring. Oh, we've just been spotted. Go get a maid or vice. Nuka Cola machine. Pardon me. I want to go. Before I go anywhere, what I want. Oh. Before I go anywhere. Dad! Hey, Dad! Oh, Check no out way! This robot I found. Careful, Tommy. I've never seen a robot like that before. It might be dangerous. He's not dangerous. Look, he's hurt. Can we take him home, Dad? Maybe Mom can fix him. I don't know, son. What if someone comes looking for it? Please. He looks so lonely. Maybe if Mom fixes him, he can help her out around the garage. <sighs> All right, boy. But if he breaks anything, it's coming out of your allowance. Yay! He'll be just like Ralphie. Only this one's not a toy. 
Yeah, where did this happen? Illinois? So that's where you got that plate. The other you, I mean. Oh, we can talk about Edie from the uh, Mojave. What's a Chicago? Excellent. Sounds like that kid was pretty fond of you. Why did you leave? <clears throat> you gave that up to continue Whitley's mission? Yeah, where did this happen? What's a Chicago is a question. What's a Chicago? Oh. Go on, Edie. Let's go. That's so cool that she's got all those sort of logs tied up in her. That's pretty interesting. Right, when I went up here, I know this sort of counterintuitive. I went up here, and I was like, oh, there's a way across. Okay, so I came through here, and I was like, right, there's stairs at the back there. I assume that's the way I've got to go. And then I came out here, and then I see that this walkway sort of continues down and around here. Oh, it does just literally stop here, though. Okay. So maybe I should have just done a bit more exploring. Whoops. And then I wouldn't be wasting anybody's time. Okay, so that doesn't actually go anywhere, that one. That was just a, a red herring, as it were. Okay, <laughs> we'll go back down the stairs. You can go home, courier. Can I? Can I, though, Ulysses? So, the white legs. Um... I thought it was Joshua Graham, Burning Man, and all that business who taught the white legs. So he's actually... So Ulysses is spread across like three DLCs then. You've got Old World Blues. You've got the Sierra Madre because without him, uh, Father Elijah would never have known where the Sierra Madre was. And then uh, that woman went after him, the one from the Circle of Steel. Or the Brotherhood of Steel. What am I looking for? Stimpak. And another one. Thank you. And he's also in Lonesome Road. And he's also mentioned in... Um... This one. Well, I imagine he makes an actual appearance in this one. I don't know where the marked men are. Do, 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 do. It's like the easy way out. If you do it with the... If you fire the nukes, it's like an easy way out, really, isn't it? Is that the sound of running water or something else that I should be aware of? Don't get much running water in Fallout, I must say. Um, yeah, running running water is more Oblivion slash Skyrim's thing. I haven't really seen much of it in... Uh... Oh, running water in Fallout is often in the vaults and things like that. Just where things have, systems are broken and shit. I see no ne'er-do-well. Radar, what are you talking about? I see someone moving just then. Oh, radiation. Which means these guys are going to be healing if I can't take them out in sort of like a couple of shots. Oh, obviously it's radioactive because of the f fucking bomb tops, isn't it? Mate, yes. Oh! Mm. Oh god. Really? 
Seriously? Gary! Whoa, I am uh, backing up a little bit, thanks. Oh, stop your bloody moving! Stop it! Got these guys! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! I just wish the screen wasn't moving so much. This shaking is really getting on my nerves. Uh, excuse me one second, guys. I just need to repair my gun. Right. Oh, in your in your own time. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. There you go. Right, where are your fucking friends? Out uh, here, are they? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, earlier when I said, oh, it's like cheating when you blow up the nuke, can it? Maybe I should have just blown up the nuke, can it? Can I get through here? Apparently not. Am I going to get through here? Of course I am. I want to get higher up than all those nincompoops on the uh, on the top of that building. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Right. This looks like a pretty good position. Give me this. And give me a couple of these. Right. I should just really get a red mist out and start dropping it on them. Yeah, now what? I'm sorry. Was that one shot? Yeah, it might have taken me... Uh a fair while to get to that point. Woo! You're close, aren't ya? Where the fuck is he? Oh. Woo hoo! You got lucky, pal. You got lucky. Ah, I got him! Crippled his right leg. I'm about to cripple his trigger finger in a minute. Get back out here. Come on. Oh, I got him. Suck it, maggot. Hello. Oh, I don't know how that bullet passed through you then, my friend. There you go. What is this guy made of? Jesus wept. And now what? I'm going to shoot you in the spine. You took about four or five exploding round bullets from a 50 calibre machine. Or a, I don't know how to say it. 50 cal sniper rifle. Because that makes sense, doesn't it? Jesus. Right, come on then. Let's go get these last couple. Stop shaking, please. Oh. And that is all she wrote. Um, Private Foster's personal journal? Well, Mr. Foster, you have just become a person of interest. Jesus, this place is a hellhole. I heard it was bad from some of the guys coming back, but Jesus, Henry can... Henriksen brought it when one of those unexploded warheads went off. And Jenkins, those things got him. I don't know what they were exactly. Ghouls maybe, but nasty fuckers. LT thinks they were drawn by the explosion that killed Henriksen. I think we're all going to die here. 
what's actually going to happen is you're going to become mole rats. And that's the end of that story. Yes, yes. It's always Jenkins, isn't it? Was it not Jenkins who bit the bullet in, the, in Mass Effect 1? In, like, the very, very first mission. Leaving you with Elenko. Oh, what the fuck is this? Conductor? No, thank you. So, obviously, I've got to blow up the, uh... Or do I? Do I have to blow up the things? To get through to the next area? It doesn't look like it. I don't need any of that. Or that. Interesting to see a caravan crate here, though. Anything in here? I'm really looking for these ED parts. Anything? No. Okay. Alright then, let's advance onwards. So, yeah. What I was trying to say is, Ulysses was mentioned in Lonesome Road. Oh no, um, what's the one where you, I can never remember the name of the one where you're with the tribes, with like the white legs and that. What the fuck are these? Oh, it's because I've got that light footed perk, isn't it? Oh. I'm not setting them off. Um, uh, Honest Hearts, is that what it's called? Honest Hearts was the DLC that was for, uh, like, the white legs and all that sort of business. So, Ulysses f gave the white... went to the white legs and taught them about Caesar, I'm guessing. And then they took his teachings, and instead of using them to glorify Caesar, they're using them to glorify Ulysses instead. And that's reminded him of his old tribe, which he's not happy with. So, I think I think that's what it boils down to, anyway. What the fuck are these? Mutilated? Yeah, I'll take that mutilated torso. Maybe we can go out for dinner one night, you know? Fucking hell. What's in here? Oh, this looks secret. So, Ulysses has been mentioned in Honest Hearts, and he's one of the reasons behind that. And he obviously didn't like what the White Legs had done to themselves. In his honour, as it were. Um, and then, in Old World Blues, he's, I guess he meets Father Elijah at Old World Blues, alongside Christian Royce, and Ulysses tells um, Father Elijah about the Sierra Madre. So then Father Elijah collects all this stuff and heads off to the Sierra Madre, Along with all the explosive neck collars that he got from Little Yangtze and places like that. So that is what I think. Don't hold me to that. But that is what I think is going on. And because of that, we're now going to go find out, I guess, what all those stories are about. Because we're about to meet Ulysses. At least that's my theory, anyway. Don't hold me to that. I could be completely wrong. And I often, uh... I get a bit irritated when people try to work out the story ahead of the actual story. But I think I'm pretty close there. Okay, so that's the area we're just in. And before I go, I'm going to have to detonate all these warheads because, uh... It's part of one of the challenges. So... I'm going to end this episode on a bang today. Um... I'm going to... Get well away. I'll probably go back into this building over here. And do that one and that one. And I'm going to end today's episode on a fireworks show. So that'll be that. But yeah, that's what I think's going on. I think there's a whole sort of Ulysses, uh, Father Elijah, Christian Royce, and then spread across the three DLCs. What was the fourth DLC? We had the Sierra Madre. You had Honest Hearts, Lonesome Road. Uh... I should know, because I've done them. <laughs> I've done all, all of the DLCs now. I'm in the middle of this one. Honest Hearts. Lonesome Road. Um, it's Sierra Madre, Old World Blues. 
You know, this is going to bug me until I find out. Give me a second here. Uh, quests. Right, here they are. No, see, there's the Sierra Madre, which is, uh, um, I can't remember what the DLC was called. Then you've got the Reunion, which is this one that I'm on now, the Divide, Lonesome Road. And then you've got that one, which was Old World Blues. I can't remember what the last one was. Because I'm an idiot. Okay, right, let's, uh, that's those two dealt with. Can I get that one around the corner? No. Well, let's go back and get it then. Oh! Yeah, I, I can't remember. Just, uh, but I have done it. So, there you go. I bet a few of you are sat there watching the end of this video just screaming like, It's, it's X DLC, do you know what I mean? Like, it's this one, blah, blah, blah. Post in the comment. Oh, actually, uh, don't, don't. Well, you can if you want, but I'll probably just go look it up after I've done this. So, how am I supposed to destroy this one? This one's gonna kill my face, isn't it? Can I get up there at all? You know, I don't. I'm not. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, right. Can I just trigger it and run away, do we reckon? Right, so... Trigger it. Did that trigger it? Apparently not. Right, now we want to get out of there. This detonator is a bit rubbish! I suppose now that all this is like this, I can climb up there and get in there. Is that how you're supposed to do it? No, apparently not. This is what happens when you do DLC blinds. You've got no clue where you're supposed to be going. Go on. Come on, courier! No. I just want to set off this bomb. I don't want to get blown up in the process, you know? Oh, well, let's just do it. I'll save beforehand, and if I get destroyed, then... I guess that's not the way to do it. Yep, save it. I've been going off on a bit of a tangent this episode. I apologise, guys. Not usually, uh... Right. Please run away. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Ooh. Oh. I am absolutely loving the... Is the word tangible? The way the world is breaking and forming the level around us. That is excellent. And uh, on that note, I think I'm going to cue the music. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take it easy. All the best. And I will catch you on the next episode of Fallout. All the best. Bye-bye.